God bless you there, Bermuda, one more time. We greet you. We are in the month of August. Now, of course, August, we see the highlight of Cup Match. Yet I continue to remind you that there is a cup, a cup of this life that leads to eternity. And the real question is, will you experience emancipation from this world and its ways so that you win the ultimate cup of eternal life. And this cup will never wear out. It will never be given to another. You would have earned it. There's a lot going on in the world today. And really, if you know Bible, you see the word of God being fulfilled. So we are not overtaken by what we see, yet what it does for myself, it gives you a sense of the necessity of speaking God's word all the more and winning souls to the kingdom before it's eternally too late. One day it will be too late to make a choice. And so I'm asking every mother, every father, please, See to it that your seed enters into the kingdom. Now, here's the thing. The greatest way to see to that is to be that yourself. Father, mother, are you heaven bound? Are you making it into the kingdom of heaven? Are you living a life so that when you stand before God, you will hear, well done. Will you hear, well done, or depart from me because I never knew you. I had no intimate relationship with you. I didn't walk with you. I didn't talk with you. And so really, I beseech you that while you have life and you have an opportunity of life, that you just don't live life as if there is no eternal life. There is a heaven. And the reality is, if there is a heaven, and there is, there is also hell. There is the lake of fire that is eternal. It was not made for you, yet if you are not making your way to God through his son, Jesus Christ, you are making your way to that place of darkness, utter darkness, weeping, gnashing of teeth. And when I think on such things, one of the most horrific pictures that I see is of a parent and their child in hell. And their child, no matter what age they are, saying, why didn't you tell me about Jesus? Why didn't you make me go to church? Why didn't you force me to go to church? See, in eternity, making and forcing and discipline will actually seem and be good things, except it will be too late. So, Father, Mother, how are you leading your children? Are you securing their time on earth and their time in eternity? Or are you focused on what you can get now? I pray and hope that not only an adult hears this, but an unsaved child, an unsaved teenager, young adult, adult. And I want you to pray to God to have Jesus come into your heart because then you will understand what I am saying is actually real because you will feel the conviction and you will also understand the conclusion that life is not over on this side. There is an eternity side. Very common it is to see when loved ones transition, wings are put on them, and the messaging is they've gone to heaven. They've gone to be with God. Well, that messaging comforts you now. However, it is not the truth. The only comfort can be through the Holy Spirit, who is the comforter, and so when he comes a knocking on your heart's door, 
that is the time to receive Jesus Christ into your heart so that when that time should come for all of us, we were absolutely here. Well done, thou good and faithful servant. Enter thou into the joy of the Lord. That's when we know that there has been a mention that has been prepared for me. Hallelujah. And you are on your way to occupy. Well, until we occupy that mansion, we've got mansions, we've got houses, we've got apartments, we've got living quarters right here. How are you occupying right now? Make your calling and election sure before it's too late. People are leaving this earth at different ages unexpectedly. And so therefore, we've got to make our calling and election sure. The world is getting darker. There is an agenda to tell you that you have no agenda and to implement another agenda that is not pleasing to God to remove Jesus Christ, to remove Christianity so that you will do every dark thing and think it's okay. How do we fight against this? With the light of the world. That's why Jesus told us in the word, Matthew 5 and 16, you are the lights of this world, a city on a hill that cannot be hid. So there is a way to combat the darkness. It's with the light. And that's why Christians should be shining forth as lights of this world. We should be the salt and the light, the soul disinfecting the toxins of this world, causing that we're able to last in this world because we have been drawn to God or sanctified. And so no matter what you're experiencing in life, I promise you, it would have and it will be better with Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. God never said we wouldn't go through things. Yet in the going through, he promised that he would always be with us. And so I encourage you, if you don't know Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, get to know him right now. And it's a simple thing. It's a prayer that can go something like this. Dear God, I come to you. I am a sinner, yet I acknowledge and I believe that you sent your son, Jesus Christ, to die for my sins. I confess Jesus right now as my Lord and Savior. Jesus, come into my heart today to stay. Amen. Now, if you did that, you need to find a church home a place where your talents, your gifts, the ones that God has given you, they're innate. You have them. They can be groomed and be a blessing, not only to the family of God, but to the world. God loved the world. He gave his son. Now you are in the kingdom. Love the world enough to be the best you, to lead someone else, guide someone else into the kingdom. If you don't have a church home, surely we at Shekinah Worship Center are ready to welcome you into our local church there at Shekinah, 98 North Shore Road, Hamilton Parish. We want to be your church. And I look forward to being your pastor. Don't believe, I have to always say this, don't believe someone else's testimony about what church is and what a church is should be because God's going to say, did you accept my son, Jesus Christ? And did you gather under a local shepherd to grow? So don't let anyone else's testimony take the kingdom from you. Come on down to Shekinah and let's worship and praise our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ together. And you'll grow and grow and grow. And you'll find out why I am still serving God after 52 years, 53 years. I still love my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. And I still endeavor to do more and more for the kingdom. It's a beautiful life. So you are welcome. 
and we look forward to seeing you. Blessings abound.